In this video, I'm going to show you how you can publish your e-learning course for a regular web page instead of an LMS. So Dave, one of the members of my YouTube channel, reached out to me and uh, in reference to a particular video I did several years ago, uh, asked if I could do another video with the latest version of Adobe Captivate, Captivate 2019 at the time of this recording here. And it was a video specifically on publishing your e-learning course for a website rather than a learning management system. And there's many reasons why you might do this. And I thought of one most recently. I'm going to be presenting uh, how to build a, a particular set of e-learning interactions in Adobe Captivate. And I'd like to share it with potential attendees of this conference where I'm going to be presenting at. So I'd like to publish this course just as if it was a web page, upload it to a web server, and then link to it from my website. And I'm going to show you that whole process today. All right, so here's the project in Adobe Captivate here. Uh, I'm going to show them the completed version and get them interested in learning on how to build these particular custom interactions. So the very first thing you need to do is go into your Preferences window. Uh, on a Mac, this is done from the Adobe Captivate drop-down menu. On a PC, you go from the Edit drop-down menu and select Preferences here. Once the Preferences window opens up, we're going to navigate to the Quiz category. And specifically, we're going to turn off Enable Reporting for this project because there will not be a learning management system where I'm going to be publishing to. So we'll uncheck that option. There's probably not much you need to change here. Um, pass or fail really won't matter. Um, you still might have a quiz result slide if you're using standard Captivate question slides. So all of that will still remain. It just won't be reporting to a learning management system. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to click on Publish and Publish to Computer. Now, we can give it a name that might be different from here. This one's fine. I always like to publish directly to my website. Normally, when I'm uploading to an LMS, I'm going to have it zipped up as a single zip file. But in this case, I want to leave it unzipped. So I'm going to leave zip files unchecked. I'm only going to select HTML5 because Shockwave Flash is dead. And the other thing I like to do, and this is optional, but I like to have scalable HTML content. Not everyone's screen is going to be the same size as my desktop screen. So I want the e-learning course to grow or shrink depending on the size of their browser. Uh, there's really not much else to worry about here. Uh, you can leave mobile gestures turned on if you think people are going to be using a mobile device to access this. And everything else is just sort of the default here. So I'm going to go ahead and press Publish. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a folder on my desktop, which I'll be able to access when I decide to put this on a web server. You can preview your project at this point if you wish but that is strictly optional. I'm going to go ahead and click No, and I'm going to minimize Adobe Captivate for right now, and I'm going to navigate to my Amazon Web Server. And this is something that I have running all times just to make sure that if I wish to share a project that doesn't require a learning management system, I use the folders that are available on my Amazon Web Server. So you can see here, here's the folder I just created. I wish to upload this, so navigate to the appropriate part of your web server and select the Upload option. I'm going to drag this folder over to my browser here, and it's going to just give me a preview of this, and I can go ahead and press the Upload button once I'm done. This can take a while, or it can be relatively quickly, depending on your internet speed. I should have good internet speed, but of course, some days it's faster than others. Okay, so that was a little longer than I thought it would be, but because of the magic of video editing, I've sped it up for you guys there. So here's everything that's uploaded there. I can go ahead and press close to return me to 
the list of projects that I've uploaded. Now I just need to find this project name here. This is for my Learning Solutions 2022 project that I'll be presenting at the conference coming up in Orlando, Florida. And uh, of course, if you'd like to see me present there, you can go uh, just do a search on Google for Learning Solutions 2022. And of course, you'll find uh, you'll find the uh, registration information there. The key thing we're looking for, and there's a series of folders and files that are within that folder. I'm specifically looking for index.html. So I'm going to click on that. And if I scroll down here, here is the link to that particular index file and therefore a link to my e-learning course. I can click on this now and test it to make sure that it works. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to copy this link here. And now I'm simply going to visit my website at squarespace.com. You might be using Wix or some other place that, uh, that you have set up for your own personal website. I'm just going to log in here. Go to my website. We'll navigate to where I've got something set up already for Learning Solutions 2022. I have a, a page where I'm talking about that. We'll go and edit that page here. And uh, what I can add, of course, is um, I can just put maybe additional text here. We'll say something like below that we can do um, simply put a button if we want. I like the idea of a button because this way I can set it up to open in a new window. And um, we'll just give this button a name. And I can place the link over here in the link. Now, if you click on the settings for this link, we can ensure that it opens in a new window, which is, I think, what I want to do because I don't want people to simply close the browser and then navigate away from my website here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And that is now saved on my website. And if we go to CaptivateTeacher.com, and you'll see, of course, this button here. And if I click on Preview Module in a new window, it opens up the project and people can review the project, see if this is something that will be appropriate for their e-learning, and they'll be able to decide whether they wish to attend Learning Solutions 2022. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.